Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's feature, we're going to look at one of the new add-ons that's available for Dynamics 365, and that's the Live Assist widget uh, powered by CafeX. So CafeX is a, a company that specializes in omni-channel engagement, uh, basically working with things like co-browsing and chat and cross-selling solutions, and basically taking channel information and allowing you to act on it and, and surface that information through a portal or through a website and now create actionable items that you can do to specifically work with and engage your customers. Now, one of the exciting things is they've recently released a widget that is available for Dynamics 365 that connects Live Assist with Dynamics 365 so you can use that as the chat solution. And that's really the preferred or recommended chat solution that Dynamics 365 is recommending for this point and moving forward. And so what I thought it would be nice to do is maybe a two-part video series on first and foremost what does it look like inside Dynamics 365 how does the widget work how do agents interact with customers and what are some of the capabilities and then in the second video which we'll do next week uh, just a little bit more around how do you configure that information from a customizable experience so as you're going in you have the ability to you know define where it's placed on your portal um, what specific options are available how it's routed to, to agents those types of different situations so that's what we'll do today is the first part of this is just go in and take a look at what the Cafe X solution is, how it works, and what you can do with it from there. So let's first go ahead and take a look at what this looks like inside the application. So as I mentioned, it is a app source add-on. So if you go out into settings and the Dynamics Marketplace, uh, that'll take you out to App Source. And so from App Source, you have the ability to go out and do a search for the Live Assist or Cafe X solution. Now it's currently being offered in a trial, so you can go ahead and uh, set up and configure your trial. Um, it'll ask you, you know, what you know to give consent. Then you can go out and determine what organization or what instance you want to associate this with. So it'll just walk you through a couple of quick little scenarios where it'll ask you some questions. It'll ask you what environment you want to configure it towards, and then you can kind of go ahead and walk through that. It's your typical app source setup and configuration. Once you've actually signed in and once you've provided your information and email contract information then what it's going to do is it's basically going to send you back a welcome email that shows you how to go into some of the admin centers of cafe X and actually modify and tweak some of that information so once this is installed then we can go ahead and, and start consuming it and like I said you will need to specifically go in and, and just do a little bit of, of, of generalized configuration but we would follow through this situation actually go through at this point, pick the organization that we want to install the trial into, sign up, provide our contact information, and then we could work with it from there. So I'll go ahead and just agree to this information here quick. I'll pick my Dynamics 365 instance. Now you'll notice here that there's a, there's a couple of different options here. There's there's two widgets. There's the actual Dynamics 365 web client widget, and then there is the widget that you can install into your unified service desk implementation as well. Uh, for today, we'll just go ahead and worry uh, and work with just the the Dynamics 365 widget from that standpoint. You'll pick your options, you'll accept, you'll hit submit, it'll ask you for some contact information, and then you will get an email back from Cafe X shortly after that, letting you know that everything has been configured. So once I get the email and I open up the email, um, it'll give me a link that I can click on. It'll ask me to log into my Live Assist Admin Center. So this is ultimately going to be where you will go in and look at you know, your users that you're currently using inside the application. This is where you'll be able to renew your trial. This is where you'll basically be able to go in and, and handle the day-to-day management capabilities of the application itself. If you click on the getting started link, this will provide you with a quick little tutorial just letting you know how everything works inside the CRM environment, how to use it, how to set it up, and, and how to make sure that you connect it to your portal. So what ends up actually happening here is you will get a, 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 co a code snippet that you can basically add to your portal site. So if you're using Dynamics 365 portal, you can copy this into the body of your HTML for your portal site, and this will surface the 
the widget that you have will actually see to be able to use inside the application. The other option that you can do is they do have kind of a sample site that you can utilize that will allow you to go in and at least just test the functionality, see how it works uh, prior to going in and doing some of the configuration. And like I said, we will do some of the configuration in next week's video so you can understand what that looks like and how you would customize that widget to fit your specific needs. Now that the item is installed into Dynamics 365, as you can see, your users or your agents logging into the application will actually see a widget over on the left hand or the right hand side of the screen that they can use to interact with chat items. Now, one of the unique things about the chat solution that I kind of like is you do have the ability to assign skills to your different uh, agents that will be accessing the application. And then you have the ability when you're configuring the widget that the users are actually going to interact with on your portal, you can actually route it to different users or different agents based upon the skills that are kind of defined. So you can set up paths to make sure that depending upon where they're coming from and what they're clicking on, it'll actually direct them to different areas and make sure that they're they're associated with the appropriate agent. From an agent perspective, I have the ability to monitor my status. I have the ability to go in and actually look for other agents. So if there's other agents or queues that are tied into this, I can, I can route stuff or look at information from there. I also have the ability to see what chats I'm currently working with. So if I have multiple chats that people have gone in and initiated with me, I have the ability to work through those. And then I also have the capabilities to see what chats are available. So if a customer is coming into the website and they click on the live, uh, live assist icon or the chat option, I can see what chats are available for me to work with as an agent. Now, if I'm looking at this from an end user perspective or from somebody coming into my website, I will see that I have a live chat icon over on my portal. Now, the nice thing about this live chat icon is, again, it's configurable. So depending upon when the customer is coming in, you may or may not have agents available if it's after hours or something like that. So there's different modes. So there's kind of an online mode and there's an offline mode and I can control what people are seeing in those situations. So maybe if somebody's coming in and wants to engage with somebody when we are after business hours, I'm going to get more of a survey that they can fill out as opposed to the actual live, uh, live chat window. So when I click on the live chat window, now it's going to load up a, a, a connection into my area and let you know that, you know what, we have, we're looking at it, we have an agent, we'll get back to you very soon. Now I'm looking at this from an agent perspective and I can see that there is a chat available. And if I come into here, I can grab this chat. Grabbing this chat is going to pop it into my application, kind of let me know where it's coming from, what browser information they're working with. And I now have the ability to interact with this customer using my chat window. And you can see over here that as I go through this, now the person on the other line will see, and now we are basically chatting back and forth. Now, there's a lot of neat things that are built into this widget from an application standpoint. One of the first things that you'll see down here on the bottom is CAN messages. So obviously, if you're having an agent that is working with multiple customers at any one given time, they may be flipping back and forth and, and trying to get into those different chats. One of the nice things with these CAN messages is you can set up and define what they are and you can very quickly respond back to people. The other thing that's nice about this is I have the ability to search these CAN messages so I can come into here do a quick little search as to what it is that I want to work with. Now I can select that option it puts it into my chat, I hit send and it'll send it off to that customer. The other options that I have down here, depending upon what I want to do, and these are with the out of the box functionality, is I now can connect to my knowledge base. So if a customer is coming in, asking me specific questions, hold on a second, let me pop into my knowledge base. I'll take a look, see what's out there. And I can now start surfacing that information and looking at that information directly from there. I also have the ability if I want to, to transfer this to another agent. So if maybe I'm not the appropriate person to be handling this, but there's somebody else inside my organization that might be a better resource, I would be able to basically open up and transfer that. The other things that you'll see is it does create a chat activity. So inside this, you will get kind of a chat transcription that'll tell you everything that's happening with this particular chat. Now, obviously this is a CRM activity. So if we think about what we can do with a CRM activity, now I could use things like automatic record 
creation rules to create a case directly from the situation. I could write a business process flow that would allow me to initiate conversations from this chat activity and then convert it into a case and then ultimately move it through other individual channels or situations if I wanted to. I also do have the ability to create a case directly into here as well. So in here, I can create a new case. I can then define where this case is coming from, put in all the information about the customer that I would want to work with and give me the capabilities to now just generate this and initiate all of my different business process flows that might be working inside this chat area directly from that standpoint. One of the other things that's really neat about the solution is its co-browse capabilities. So if somebody's navigating your website and maybe they're having an issue and they just want some help with, you know, how do I get to here or how do I find something within there using the co-browse solution, I have the capabilities to kind of do that. So now what I can do here is I can go in and click on my start co-browse option. And when I start this co-browse option, this is going to initiate a co-browse session with my, with my user or with the person on the other end. And I would now have the capabilities to be able to go out within this co-browse situation and actually uh, interact with them. So now if I switch back to my chat window, I can see that I have been invited to join a co-browse session. Do I want to go ahead and do that? I'll say accept. That's going to let me know that this page is now currently being shared with a representative. So now if I were to come into this from a representative perspective, now I can see that customer's page. I have the ability to work with them. I also have the ability to interact with them. So from a, a pointing perspective and from a clicking perspective, I can point to different areas on the page. I have the ability to go in and actually call out specific situations. So if say, well, you know what, you need to go in and click on the rooms option. I can click on the rooms option. This will highlight the rooms option. And this is what the user will see on that particular on their screen as I'm going through. So this now gives me the ability to kind of call out the items that I want to work through. I obviously have some different highlighting methods. So if there was a specific piece of a text that I wanted to highlight in here, I could highlight that information. I could make different annotations on the screen based upon what I want to do. So this gives me the ability to go in and really now start calling out specific areas for that customer. And then I also would have a capability if there was a file or something that I wanted to send out to them, I could push a file out to them as well. Once I'm done with the session, I can go ahead and hang up and the co-browse session, and that'll end the session inside here. But what's nice is directly from one area now, I do have the capabilities to start doing these things that we've always wanted to do with Dynamics 365. I can engage in chats with customers and I can really start to see what they're doing and use this as more of an omni-channel experience as opposed to some of the other areas where it's just coming in from a case or even if we're just using some of the record creation rules. So that's going to do it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed our look into Live Assist powered by Cafe X. Like I said, in next week's video, we'll take you in and we'll show you more around the configuration of the actual Cafe X Live Assist solution. You know, how do you set up those engagement models? Um, how do you set up the skills for your different agents and then define what those paths look like? Because the other thing is those, those different widgets that we saw with that Live Assist where you could click on it, those can be configurable to be reflected in different pages and based upon the page that you're in, take you to a different area. We could also use those as more of an engagement model to really upsell our customers if we wanted to as well. So we'll look at that a little bit more, like I said, in, in the next video in the series that we're going through. So again, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek saying thanks again for watching everybody. Take care and have a good one.